Thou nature art my goddess, to thy law my services are bound. Wherefore should I stand in the place of custom, and permit the curiosity of nations to deprive me? But that I am some twelve or fourteen moonshine's lad, little brother? Why, bastard? Wherefore, base? When my dimensions are as well compact, my mind is generous in my shape. <laughs> as true as honest man's issue. Why grant they us with base, with baseness, bastardy, base, and base? Who in the lusty stealth of nature take more composition and fierce quality than that within a dull, stale, tired bed go to the creating of a whole tribe of fops between the sleep and the wake? Well, then, my legitimate Edgar, I must have your manner. Our father's love is to the bastard Edmund as to the legitimate. Fine word, legitimate. Well then, my legitimate, if this letter speed and my invention thrive, Edmund the base shall top the legitimate. I grow, I prosper. Now, gods, stand up the bastards. Hate banished us, and France and God parted, and the king, gone tonight, subscribed his power, confined to exhibition. All this done upon the gag. Edmund, how now, what news? What's the news, your lordship? Ah. Why so long is he seeking to put up that letter? I know no news, my lord. Oh, what paper were you reading? Nothing, my lord. No? What need to that terrible dispatch with into your pocket? The cause you have nothing hath not such need to hide itself. Come, let's see. If it be nothing, I shall not expect it. I beseech you, sir, pardon me. It is a letter from my brother that I am not alone with. Like, for so much that I have perused, I find it not to clear over you. Give me the letter, sir! To give it. Well, the content as in how I understand it, my friend. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I hope for my brother's justification he wrote this but as an essay or a taste of my virtue. This policy and reverence of age makes the world bitter to the best of our time. Keeps our fortunes from us till our oldness cannot relish them. I begin to find an idle and fond bondage in the oppression of age, tyranny. Come to me, that of this I may speak more. If our father would sleep till I waked him, you should enjoy half his revenue forever, and live the beloved of your brother, Edgar. Conspiracy. Sleep till I waked him, you, you should enjoy half his revenue. My son, Edgar. treachery and all. 
Ruinous disorders follow us as quietly into our graves. Seek out this villain, Edmund. It shall lose thee nothing. Do it quietly. And the noble and true hearted Kent banished. His offense? Honesty. Oh, it is strange. 